This is uh, our Nissan Leaf that we're now um, week 10 of using. Just a little bit of a quick guide at how, how you use it. Keyless, so we don't need the key to get into it. Just push it. We just need this in our pocket to use the car. Push the little button, in we get. Layout is pretty much like a conventional car. Um, so when we want to start it, we press the start button here. And we're welcome with our nice cartoon <laughs> chime. Once you're in, the controls are pretty straightforward. Uh, the dashboard here has uh, very similar controls and uh, a display to a conventional car. You've got um, the equivalent of a taco here. Uh, with the exception that it actually can go into minus uh, revs, if you like, in, if you were comparing with a petrol or diesel car, when the vehicle's recharging through the uh, the wheel hubs. We also have here a fuel gauge, uh, very much like a, um, a conventional vehicle, with the addition of a range meter, which is quite sophisticated in that it takes your previous driving style and forecasts forward how much energy you're going to use. Uh, that can result in that going down very rapidly but also unlike uh, a conventional car it can go back up. The uh, transmission is uh, very much like an automatic transmission on a conventional vehicle. We've got three basic modes of drive. Uh, reverse, we all, which uh, we also have uh, normal drive which is actually should be um, a sport version it's much quicker than when you knock it back again you go to an eco drive you'll also notice that the range changes to forecast forward at your new proposed uh, sporty or not so sporty driving that's making a healthy seven miles difference in the range as we toggle between the two the other things that will affect the range apart from the drive which we can putting that into the more sporty mode brings that down if we then um, put on the air conditioning, you'll see that that comes down again. The uh, electronics within the car are always monitoring the, the usage of energy. The Leaf comes with a very comprehensive um, set of information tools. Um, probably what the more useful ones are, for instance, the SatNav, which I'll show you here. Um, is pretty familiar to most of us with the addition on this sat nav it will tell you how far you could, if your journey is going to run out of charge or not and also it will tell you where the nearest charging points are as long as they're in the database on the uh, on the computer uh, the whole thing is connected to nissan servers there's a um, uh, a sim card in the car so that it can communicate back to nissan your energy usage uh, and the you also get bulletins from around the world of uh, Mr. Yakamoto who's done uh, 40,000 miles in his leaf and all this sort of thing. Uh, other information that would be very uh, handy are this comprehensive um, set of data here to show you exactly how the energy is being used in the car. Again if we put the aircon on with the estimated range will change. It also shows you here what the effect of changing the climate control is. So it's minus 19 miles. So it's quite a hefty penalty for using the aircon. This is um, just showing us the nearest charging stations and it will give you a map guidance to where the nearest charging point is. To charge the car up, we firstly need to open this lever here which opens a flap on the uh, the front of the car. So the charging leads stored in this okay. handy little rucksack affair that goes in the boot. To cope with the 13 amp plug you have this unit that um, helps with the charging of the vehicle and what is now becoming a standard this gun type atta uh, attachment um, that attaches to the car. This is the uh, run the mill one for the uh, normal domestic supply and this is for a fast charger on this side and we just connect the gun so making sure it's fully in and 
that's pretty much it.